I do want to read a couple tweets, okay, a couple tweets from people who, when I put this out in early February, okay, these are some of the tweets. I'm not going to read the names. Okay, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read the names. I want to read the names, but I'm not going to do it. Here's one. Here's one tweet underneath it. Really, y'all aren't too bright. Gonzaga's 22 quad one, two, and three games combined compared to everybody else isn't even close. What a horrible take. Another tweet. <laughs> well, well, we found the guy who pays absolutely no attention to basketball nationally. Did I respond to him yesterday? We found the guy who knows nothing about anything? I don't know. You have to look it up at Jake Crane underscore C-R-A-I-N. <laughs> Another tweet. Horrible take. That's fine. I guess it wasn't. Pardon my take. See what I did there? And then, and then, probably my favorite. This tweet was from somebody when the brackets came out. They are going to rail Arkansas. They better hope that Memphis pulls the upset or this is a matchup nightmare for the Hogs. I would like to extend well, my condolences and RIP to everybody that was in the tweet underneath yeah. talking that. And you ish. deserve this moment because you've been you've been on this train for Look a while. Down the barrel of the camera. Here, I'm not gonna sit here and cap our lot. You've been on, you've been saying this for a while. And it got to a second there when I was kind of worried about it. You know, I saw 10 and a half, I think 10. I was like, oh God. But they ended up pulling out. And think about Gonzaga, like, stop trying to act like you're a blue blood. You're not. Right. You gotta win. You gotta like win a championship to become a blue blood. Are you a great basketball team? And do you play middle schoolers probably through the your conference? Yeah, that's fine. The thing about moves against Zaga, where they get hurt the most is when a team gets physical with them. Yeah. When you get you have to hit Gonzaga in the face first and make them react. Chet Holmgren and, was gassed because Arkansas yeah. was a bullying. Yeah, but you get physical with Gonzaga. Chet Holmgren, great player. Mm -hmm. Top three, four pick. This man could fit through any fence that in, <laughs> you could find. You're going to have to put some weight on or you will get bullied, not only in this league, but you go to the NBA, you will get bullied in the paint. I don't care if you're 7'5". Yeah, and can I say this too? Can we stop acting like the WCC is some legit conference? Let me let me see. How many of them made, How many WCC teams made it really far in this year's tournament? I'm, I ain't, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, they're not San Francisco legit. got bounced in the first round. St. Mary's played really good against Indiana, who pulled a Drew Barrymore and totally forgot. And people say, oh, well, there's one SEC team in the Elite Eight. I can understand that a little bit. But look over in aggregate. WCC teams outside of Gonzaga do not advance. They do not advance. I agree with that. But The I'm only way right. they advance is if they work at advanced auto parts. I, uh, I do think Gonzaga will get them one, though. I, I, I do Hughes too, eventually. Too good of a coach, and you're talking about they're not a blue blood, but they are able to recruit on that level. And I think that they will keep stacking these recruiting classes. I mean, you, you put someone like uh, Timmy, right? You get uh, Chet Holmgren to come in the, the, the next season after they went to a championship last year and lost. They, you know, they, they have this ability to make deep runs, I think, in the tournament. And I do think Gonzaga will put it together at one point. I hope they do. It just wasn't this year. You know? I, I hope think it'll do. be one of the years, kind of like this Villanova team, right? Top 15, top 10 Villanova team, but not a top four would, team that sneaks up on you. Would I be out of line to say, and I know they play in the Big East, okay, everybody calm down, but Villanova is what people want Gonzaga to be. That, I agree with and that. And what I mean by that is they're a team that they don't have the most NBA players. I mean, they're tallest guys, six foot eight. Now, I know Gonzaga has, but they're sneaky, but they win championships. Yeah. You know, you don't hear about them in any other sport. Okay, Gonzaga, do you hear about them in any other sport? I don't know. I don't keep up with competitive Quidditch or underwater bass <laughs> weaving. I don't hear about Villanova a ton uh, in any other sport. That's just the truth, okay? But I think people try and treat Gonzaga like they're Villanova. You want to know what the difference in Villanova and Gonzaga is outside of, you know, uh, Villanova's in a Power Six conference? I do get that. Villanova wins championships. Yeah. They win championships. That's the difference. We got to stop treating them like they're the same. And I hope eventually Gonzaga gets one, and they will. they will. I think they will because of their no. ability to, one, keep the experienced upperclassmen, right, who don't jump to the NBA after only a year or two, but also to couple that with being able to find the one-and-done talent occasionally to get to come to Gonzaga. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it, uh, the Mark View more of a Brian Kelly situation where you're going to have to get out somewhere else to a different program to win a championship? Because, I, I mean, at what point, at what point, this was a really good basketball team for Gonzaga. Last year's team was really good for Way Gonzaga. better. Last year's team was way better. Yeah, I agree. 
at what point do you have to have the best team to win a championship at Gonzaga? Like you, the thing about me at Gonzaga is like you don't go through it every week. You don't get better every week. You don't have to go through these grinding ass games that other teams have to go through through the ACC, the SEC, the Big Ten, the Big Twelve. That stuff matters, especially in March. Like you have to be tested so you're prepared for it in March. And the thing about me, Mark Few's a great coach, but when Gonzaga gets in trouble, they back down from the moment, in my opinion. Hmm. Like that, that's my opinion. How, the, the thing with Villanova is Villanova's got backbone about them. That's what they got. Villanova, will, no matter what it is, will always get up your face, play defense. They're never scared of a moment because their expectations aren't, well, they're the best team every year because that, they run through everybody in their conference. That game chain, I'm telling you guys, and it's a lot of little things that have to big things. I think when JT, J.D. Note chased that guy down and blocked that ball off the backboard, yeah. when Gonzaga came out, and they were up 5 nothing, And then I think it was 5-2. And they, they had a breakaway. All of a sudden, you could kind of see Gonzaga kind of look around a little bit like, wow. But like, that's well, – welcome to it. Now, now people say, oh, well, they play Texas Tech and Duke. There's, there's a huge difference, difference in playing somebody at the beginning of the year. Before Christmas. But before Christmas as opposed to the end of the year. Yeah. I mean, look at Houston right now. Look at Miami. I can go down the list. These are totally different teams. Look at North Carolina. Well, every other team is playing those same out-of-conference schedules and, and then, then going exactly through. Right. I mean, you're talking about Villanova. Villanova's playing the same sort of out-of-conference schedule, and then they're going to have a home-and-home -home against Providence. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to have to go on the road against certain teams in the Big East that they know could beat them any night. Like, what Gonzaga, like, realistically, through their conference, who challenges them physically? Nobody. No, but not But then you get in the tournament, and what happens? You face a team like Arkansas who gets it out the mud. And you know if Memphis saying? didn't get in foul trouble, yeah. they were working Gonzaga for most of that game. So, look, I'm with you, Blaine. Eventually, I'll be interested to see what Mark Few does because last year's Gonzaga team, to me, may be the closest they How ever get. How much better are you going to have to get? Yeah, I like, mean, Jalen Suggs, NBA guy. NBA guy. Timmy was hot. You can go down that roster last year with the guys they had uh, at guard, too. Hey, if you like that content, go ahead and subscribe. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, String in a Cup. As long as you're listening, we appreciate you. Go subscribe now. It's Cranic Company.